Bah! I'm not gonna lie, that rap video took me all day. I'm just gonna mix it up. I'm gonna give you guys a little rap video. So yeah, like, comment, and let me know what you think. I'm a music type of guy, so if there's music, like, I'll just be cleaning my room and just be dancing. Most of the time, I'm not even clean. I used to blow up my Snapchat all the time, me just, like, singing and dancing. When I came here, um, most of the boys didn't like to be recorded. So, yeah, whenever I put my phone in, they're like, put your phone away, stack it. And I'm just like, okay, so. I It just represents who I am, I guess, and um, I'm a fun type of guy and I love to dance. Dream time at the G, steady rain falling. Dancing at the G, at Dream Time at the G, it was um, very exciting. I, I love my culture. So when I was in school, I was like the leader of our dance group. Yeah, we done like robbery and all that sort of stuff. So indigenous dancing, painting, um, playing the didgeridoo and all that. And yeah, I was talking to my grandfather, asking for the permission and, and he said it's all good and um, he'd love that. And I just feel like I've got to give back along the way and I just, yeah, try to be as a leader as much as I can really. Yeah, that's a little Noah, I, I know him. Fair well. he, sent, he sends me videos and sends me a message all the time. But um, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to know that you're, you're a leader for um, younger kids like that. When we were out here practicing on the roof and oval, he was just always looking up at me like this and I was like, let's go little buddy, let's dance. And then he's, he loved the day, it's amazing. Turns back, nice drop step, kicks one of the goals of the year. Out there, it's, like, it's loud. The crowd is loud, the atmosphere is amazing, teammates get around you and I never liked kicking goals when I was when I was younger, but now I'm in the forward line kicking goals and it's like it's amazing. I love it. Stack's got a side up, Stack's kick three, what a gun! Eddie is my favourite player. I met him at the Indigenous camp um, at the start of the year. Like spoke to him and spoke to uh, Shawnee Burgoyne and, and all the senior players and asked them what it's what it, what I've got to do to I'm great like, like them and just listen to them and admire their stories and um, once I got the opportunity to play on Eddie, I was like, all right, I'm going to just try my best here. And I was just talking smack saying, oh, you're not kicking any goals tonight and I was asking him to show me his pocket and everything and as soon as he got that ball, I was just like, that's, that's a goal. And I, I had to walk up to him and shake his hand because like, I idolise him. And, it's, it's unbelievable. He just kicked the goal on me, like Eddie Betts. Like, wow, that's insane. Preseason just flew by, even though it was hard as hell. I just had the attitude to train harder and, and play harder. I remember my first day, actually, I came here and um, I met all the boys, a bit starstruck, but then um, they were like, oh, yeah, Stacky, we're doing, like, um, sh shuttle runs. They didn't tell me we were doing three sets, so like, I busted my ass the first set. The boys were like, oh, you ready, Stacky? We're going in. I was like... And then I, I was legit running, like, I didn't even think I could run. It's so hard, like, being a first year player, you've got to make sure you're on top of your hydration, your sleep, um, your diet. And, like, if one of those things are out of place, you just struggle at training. And once I got that right, I was still vomiting once <laughs> I got it right. But, um, but, yeah, it was just, it was tough. To get respect, you got to earn it. And I just came with the attitude to work hard and that's all I wanted to do. I didn't have much sport growing up as a kid, but I've always had the footy club, Perth Demons. Moving over to a different state, Richmond just make you feel so comfortable and the way they go about it, they're so educated with the Indigenous side of footy and um, they understand and respect it. And the way they went about it and made me feel welcome, the culture here is just unbelievable. And yeah, I just love it, see the club as family pretty much.